I, I realized in doing a little bit of research that there is little difference between physical pain with an injury and the emotional ache of rejection on an MRI. So when they do an MRI on someone, that part of the brain, the same area of the brain that activates when processing information of a cut finger or rejection, that is fascinating to me. Pain, actual pain, hurting pain is experienced in the same part of the brain as somebody not picking you for a job or you not getting asked out on that second date. That's, that's really just so thought provoking. So, you know, I like to read about things. I like to really figure out the whys and it seems like there are stages of rejection, just like there are stages of death when you're grieving someone stages of grief. So the first is denial, like disbelief is this, there must be some kind of mistake. Maybe Apple or Spotify messed up and they did not get my podcast episode. (laughs) Please laugh with me. I mean, you know, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. I this is this is how our minds work. So I'm just using myself as an example. I don't mind me being the um, guinea pig in any situation here. So yes, disbelief, there must be some kind of mistake. This absolutely cannot be anything to do with me. This has to do with some kind of outside source. And then the next stage is anger. How dare they? How dare you people not listen to something I put out there? What in the world do you have better to do than listen to me and my podcast? You are just a jerk. And then bargaining is the third stage. Maybe if I could just talk to you guys. And just say, hey, you know what? I really have a lot of great things to say. I think if you sat down and listened to me and everything I had to say, you would realize, my God, she's so important. (laughs) She has so much valuable information. Had I known, I would have never not listened to that episode. So, um a lot of this also goes along with the feedback. I don't get much feedback. I'm going to admit that. No, I don't know any podcasters out there that admit. And if they say that they get a lot of feedback, they are lying. Because I belong to all of these podcast sites. And they all get on there and say, how can I get the people that listen to interact with me more? How can I get more listeners? How can I get... It is an epidemic. So if people are saying, oh, I got 400 letters in the mail. I got 7,000 emails asking me. No, no, they didn't. They're lying. And if they are going to come for me, go ahead, come for me. I'm sure they're not going to come for me. Um, So yeah, uh, denial, anger, bargaining. Um, I know I wrote. Okay, depression. Then, okay, we have gone past angry and disappointed and now we are just sad embarrassed hurt all of of the whole all it together just uh, so embarrassed and hurt and sad you know like and your self-confidence takes a hit like just why why did I think that what I had to say would matter why did I think it was important who do I think I am there we go in our heads Go take a bubble bath, call some friends, get in a journal and write down all the things that you are grateful for, blessed with, thankful for. There is always somebody out there that has it worse than you. And I'm not preaching. Believe me, this, this is stuff that I am experiencing in the present time and I'm trying to work through it. And I figured if I am, somebody else out there is too. So join me, please help me be my friend. Um, We just have to get out of the point of depression and sadness and where we feel like a piece of crap because of rejection. Then after you start to feel a little bit better, after the bath or after you hung out with friends, people that enjoy you, or you wrote down blessings and things that you're grateful for, which is, is huge. And it is known to help bring you kind of out of that stage of feeling down on yourself. Um, then look at the situation closer. Okay. 
um, maybe maybe you were j- just weren't a good fit. Maybe if you d- got bypassed for that job, maybe you would have gotten that job and absolutely hated it. Maybe you would have been overqualified or worse, underqualified, and then felt all this stress and pressure at work to perform in a job that you hate or a job that you weren't qualified for, whatever. Maybe you weren't a good fit for that person that you really thought you wanted to date. Maybe it ended up that it was saving you from being in a relationship that was going to end ugly or toxic. You know, like, I think sometimes we don't see the the universe is working for us and we need to go with the flow of it and not take everything like we have to control it. And if it didn't go our way, then it didn't go the right way. Again, this is not me preaching. This is me talking to myself out loud on a podcast. <laughs> How psychotic is that? Um, so yeah, there's some things that are beyond your control. Find the mistakes. Maybe, maybe it is you, you know, maybe you're um, aspiring for things that aren't in your wheelhouse. Maybe you're trying to date people that you think are in your pool and they're not, they're just not. So just maybe figure out some mistakes that you might be making. Maybe you need to work on yourself a little bit more before you put yourself out there. Maybe you need to work on your resume a little bit more before you put it out there. Like tweak some things. See if there are areas where it's actually you. Because it could be. And that's okay. But if you don't put yourself out there to be rejected, if you don't take the risks and you just live in your little comfort zone, you're not living. You're not. Life is full of rejections. Life is full of mistakes. Life is full of lessons. Um, So you need to take chances. Don't stop out of fear of rejection. You need to make a choice. Stay where you are, where you're safe, or realize that rejection is a part of life and it's time to turn it around and create the life that you want to live. If you got rejected by that woman or man and realized, you know what, maybe I should just be working on myself for a little bit. I've been trying to lose these last five pounds. I've been trying to eat better. I've been trying to exercise more. Maybe I'll do that until I feel a little bit better about myself, till I feel a little bit more confident about myself so that when I put myself out there and I do get rejected, I can bounce back a lot easier, build up some resilience. I heard a quote and I thought it was a perfect quote. I want to write it down and put it everywhere in my house. You might be the sweetest peach on the tree, but not everybody likes peaches. Ah, I love that. Remember that. You might be perfect for somebody else. You might be perfect for some other job. It's not you it's not you. Okay? Be your authentic self and attract people that appreciate it. Attract things that are meant for you. So that is my little lesson on rejection for today. Um, I'm going to listen to it again and make sure that it sounds good to put out there because I only want to provide you with quality stuff. If you would like to reach out to me, great. I'd love to hear from you. If I don't get any feedback at all, maybe I should take that as I'm doing okay because my numbers are staying up. Maybe people just don't want to reach out. Maybe people are busy. Maybe it's not me. It's you. (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to say the quote one more time and then I'm going to say goodbye for the day. You might be the sweetest peach on the tree, but not everyone likes peaches. Okay, guys, have a great day. Bye.